Welcome to the special Summer Game Fest prediction episode of a Slice of Gaming podcast. If you're listening to this, it should be Tuesday. Uh, wait, I didn't pull up a calendar. No, I messed up. Uh, it should be Tuesday, June a 4th. Second. Oh, wait. No, I'm wrong, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, June 4th. So yeah, Tuesday, June 4th, we, this is the uh, Summer Game Fest recording. Uh, just a disclaimer that we are recording this on Friday, May 31st. So if anything happens news-wise between now and June 4th, that's the reason why it's not being brought up now. So just let you guys know. So on this prediction episode, we got me, we got Wolf, we got Hi. Dark. How's it going? Fusion. Hello. Bench. I'm tired. And still the special appearance by Beef. Yes, I'm still here. Bench, bench is tired. This is our first one we're recording, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally after the last recording, it was like, are we done yet? Oh, my God. Yeah, All right, hard. so, but you guys are the big prediction people, and you guys know what you want to talk about, so have at it, Wolf. Oh, man, we got a lot to predict, and I am very curious to see what you guys are thinking about this. So, first off, I actually want to bring this up. Sam Lake, and I want to go over, like, what we know there were a lot of game companies that said, oh, our next game is going to be there. But, like, I didn't want to bring them all in. The big one is Sam Lake. Uh, Jeff Keighley kind of said three weeks until Summer Games Fest. And my boy Sam Lake hit him with an eyes emoji. And Fusion, you would know this. They changed the logo of Remedy? Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, so I'm thinking, okay, does that immediately tell us, like, Alan Wake 2 DLC is here, right? Oh, 100%. It will be there. Okay, cool. So that's an immediate, like, we know one game, basically. But there's Monster a whole Hunter. lot of other games. <laughs> I mean, I, Monster Hunter was confirmed. Metaphor was confirmed. Metaphor, okay. You know Sony's going to be there or something. Yes. Well, okay, that's what I want to bring up. We have the 2024 Partners Round 1. And I'm not going to go through every company here because, like, you know, guys, what's Discord going to be doing? <laughs> but, like, has something. There's definitely some things I want to, like, mention, discuss about these certain companies, what they're going to be doing here. And honestly, let's just get right into something that we actually discussed, I think, around a month ago about 2K games showing off a big installment and a beloved franchise. And I want to just real quick. So to confirm, me, Dark and Moon all said we think it's Borderlands, correct? Yes. Okay. And then Fusion said Mafia. (laughs) And then Bench said something. (laughs) Siv? Yeah, he did say Siv. You said Siv. Beef, how are you found? What do you think it's going to be? I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm going with Bench. I think I think it's Civ at two. I hope, man. This I is <laughs> now. I think if I'm going with likelihood, it might actually be Mafia because I remember there were like rumors that's supposed to be revealed soon, like credible ones. But mm-hmm. there's also I feel. I mean. I've said before, like, I've asked Jeff Grubb, like, I said, like, Jeff, are we getting Civ 7 this year? He's like, I think so, too. And it's been, like, seven years since the last one, so I'm hoping, but there's also just, like, no sign of it. So that's a hope and a dream, basically. That's the funniest thing with this is that there is, it can literally be anything because of yeah. every other game. And then Borderlands has a straight-up marketing cycle going. <laughs> yeah, because... <laughs> so like, <what> <laughs> Because other people also saying bio the Bioshock game finally. I don't think Bioshock's happening. I don't think so I mean, either. Think... But that's what some, some people think. Wait, wait, wait! You don't think it's happening? Like it's canceled? <laughs> no, I don't think it's gonna be like shown off. Oh, okay. You said that aggressively. Yeah, Bioshock's just gonna come when we least expect it. It's probably gonna be like at the what Game about... Awards or something. It'll be like Bioshock. There you go. Does Judas show up again? Judas said. Is that even the spot? Well, Judas, Judas is twenty twenty five. I think right. Yeah, it's been like every Keeley event. It, yeah, I, th- I think it will, but they did say like a new. I'm pretty sure it was a new reveal. So yeah, I mean it's just 2K as well. So it's yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. maybe both, but well, that's the thing. Maybe it's multiple 2K reveals. Maybe we get Bioshock and Borderlands at Mafia. I don't think that's the case. I think it's if they if it was going to be the case, they probably would have said we're going to reveal multiple brand new games. What if I just, think it's yeah. Borderlands just because it's it's the safest option, you know? Like I I would like the other ones like. Fusion, fight for Mafia. Why do you think Mafia is going to be the game? Um, well, for one, it's been like nine years, I think, since Mafia 3, 2015, I want to say. And we've had rumors for years about a new Mafia on the way. And then even just recent mo- rumors about a few months ago about how Hangar 13 still like a new Mafia is in store. And we have details about how it's like a prequel set in Italy or someplace over there. So it's like, I I feel like we've had more like 
smoke around the new Mafia game than we have around the Bioshock. We just know a Bioshock at some point is coming. Compared to like Mafia, I feel like there's been so much rumors and so many like leakers in the industry talk about how a new Mafia like seems like around the corner, and it just seems like this is the part. This seems like the perfect time where the they use the word, hey, a next big reveal of like one of our big franchises, and people are going to expect Bioshock or Borderlands, and then they're just going to be like, hey, it's a Mafia game. To be fair, we've also seen this with Bioshock, where they're like, oh, there's something big Bioshock, and then the game got leaked, and we haven't seen shit since. Like, we know where the next location of the next Bioshock is going to be. I like the premise no, of it. Bioshock got revealed like straight up in 2019. Like they said they were going to be working on it back in 2019. Just yeah, like but they didn't really give us details. We have like leaked well, yeah, details and shit. And they were like, oh yeah, the leakers were saying, oh yeah, we're going to see a lot more. We haven't seen shit. Yeah. I'm curious. I, I, I think Bioshock is further away than we actually think. Like, I, I, I think don't, if I... Bioshock is shown, it's going to be like Game Awards or something like that. I don't think it's going to be here. I have a PlayStation projection. Hang on, bitch! Oh, he's always jumping ahead. I fucking hate him. I was literally about to go to PlayStation next, so I'm not now. We're going to Xbox. <laughs> oh, no. mm-hmm. Xbox is weird, because uh, they literally have a show in, like, two days after this. So it kind of tells me these are going to be pay-the-bills announcements, a.k.a. something like a Sea of Thieves or a maybe a quick commercial for Avowed in between stuff. Like, You guys think that's accurate? I think we get a mm. like very short shattered space teaser, sixty seconds max, and it just says tune in Sunday. I could actually see that. Yeah, as I say, fuck, he might. That sounds likely, uh, actually. It might just be a trailer for the for the Xbox show, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they say 60 se- it's a 60 second trailer during the xbox show tune into the xbox show it's like wait what the fuck <laughs> i'm here I, I could genuinely see them doing that what do you want me to tune into this is the xbox show no i mean at the summer games fest they just have oh, a 60 yeah. set that's, that's what we're talking about we're actually moving to xbox <laughs> the fuck? i think it'll be i think it'll be a halo infinite dlc or something stupid mm. uh, if you, like you want to get into that we can get into that well, like, no, a new season for... Uh, yeah, like a new Halo season Infinite. or something. Yeah, yeah, so Halo Infinite seasons are cooked. <laughs> Everything got revealed. The game's the game's being sunset, pretty much. In yeah. terms of what's going on with Halo Infinite, in the files, the uh, not the um, leakers found another ID for another game entirely, and there's a new MSRP, this next new game, whatever it is, is rated M for Mature. Well, Halo Infinite's T for Teen. So the assumption is that they're going to show off a new Halo game. In terms of Halo Infinite, they don't really got much to show. They have one big update. Maybe they'll show that. But outside of that, the game's pretty much done. Yeah, and I don't think that's going to be what's here. Honestly, I had no real idea. And now, like, it, I think it might be. Because I've when we do the expeditions, I have, like, a ton of stuff from First Party. And I was wondering, like, how the hell are they going to do all this stuff? And, you know, like, the bills from other companies. So I am mean, thinking it might be, you know... Get something yeah, small from first party, yeah, like that, or maybe like the WoW expansion because then BlizzCon's oh, not yeah. happening. That makes sense. I mean, Diablo, Diablo expansion, expansion. or they Diablo because I'm like, I don't, I don't want that the Xbox show. I don't care, but I know the Blizzard fans well, obviously Diablo, care. Something Diablo could definitely happen, or it would just, just be a controller. They're just show off in the controller. Diablo. Hell yeah! I show a fucking controller. I swear to God, there's been multiple feel the burn. <laughs> They're gonna Multiple come out with Fallout game controller. Partnerships. Like Jeff will say, "Hey, we have mm. this partnership, and it's not even a game. It would literally be like a hell yeah." Like, I mean, we've got yeah, Dolby's it. here, so like, I don't think Dolby's about to show <laughs> yeah. off a new game. And we we have we've gotten into predictions, but I do think he's gonna put a very strong show on this year. Like a lot of like gaming podcasts that like are going to play days have very much hinted like this is gonna be a he he's getting a lot together, and I think it'll be pretty good. Will Zack Snyder be here? I was kind of. Oh my god, people keep getting ahead of me. I was literally going to ask that later about the celebrity appearance. Well, let's I'll just, just do it now. I'll just do it now. Okay. My podcast is ruined. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, celebrity appearance. He always has a celebrity. Who are we feeling? All right. I think, guys, Jack Black. And Kevin Hart. together. Oh, I'd be up for Kevin. that. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, for Borderlands movie. Wait, hang on. I kind of cooked. But yeah, Kevin Hart makes sense, actually. Jack I Black makes sense, too, because of the Minecraft movie. And he's in Borderlands. I just said Jack Black because he's the only celebrity I could think of in the moment. <laughs> Jack, I think you could have some Borderlands cast there. Uh, even yeah, without, if, even if it's not Borderlands, I do think you could just get some of that cast there. 
Yeah, like the person who plays Lilith. Uh, it's like Blanchett something. I mean, maybe but we Blanchett. say that, but then we hit Zack Snyder for Rebel Moon, and that is not connected to anything game related. That <laughs> so... was Gamescom, man. I mean, These didn't it have like a mobile game or something? I think. Did it? I don't even know. I think it I think has... No, I think it was just a trailer for Rebel Moon. <laughs> yeah. I'll go look. Go look, on. we get random The Vox trailers too, so you know, nothing's off the table. I mean, also, I, the the is there. Trailer. I wouldn't be surprised with The Rock's there. Isn't he in Borderlands 2? The Rock? Like this. It feels like he is, but maybe I'm just thinking I don't of, think The Rock's uh, in Borderlands. I'm just thinking of Kevin Hart and Jack Black as Jumanji. Maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Jumanji. You just, got your fucking yeah, wires what, crossed there. <laughs> that's just what Borderlands is. Just more Jumanji. It, you know, honestly, I okay, hot take. Tell me if I'm crazy. Borderlands is the Jumanji of video games. It's yeah, bigger correct. than it should be. No. Uh, oh, yeah. That works. Yeah. <laughs> A bunch of haters. What? Okay, Dirk, you hate Borderlands 3. <laughs> I like yeah, Most people 3. hate Borderlands 3. I like Most people like it. <laughs> no, they do not. The, look at the Metacritic score and tell me most people hate it. The Metacritic score is rigged. There's a whole story on that. Oh my god! <laughs> no, honest, there's a whole story on that. What about the Open Critic score? Because that's an 81, buddy. The game is bad, bro. Oh, well, sorry. 81 ain't bad. What are you, Bench? Sorry, Bench. Anyways, PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> PlayStation. Uh, click up. Yeah, I'm going. A, um, there is a game. I'm going to do. Hang on, hang on. Moon's, moon. Uh, there is a game. Yeah. There is apparently a role-playing video game based on Rebel Moon in development. Oh okay. my god. It's not okay. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna and there is also apparently a game for Netflix games platform also done. A four-player co-op action game. Okay, but, that's awesome. Yeah. I have my we PlayStation. Up. My PlayStation prediction. Right, I think ahead, we have please. a we have a horizon blowout. I think the remake uh-huh. shows up. I think the Lego game shows up, and I think the MMO shows up. It honestly says a lot <laughs> that the first reaction to a Horizon blow it is ugh. Well, <laughs> I don't think it's impossible. We have Nexon as a partner; they're making the uh, MMO, and we have. I think there's just a lot of Horizon stuff that we've heard about for so long, where it all makes sense to see it like in the next six months. And I, I don't think. Oh, though that's my. But opinion. I don't think they. I just think. Like, some of these Horizon things are this year. I think some of them are, and I think you're not going to wait until September to show them. So my question for you is, why would they have all this for Jeff when they just had their state of play? Because like, yeah. their state of play is more for, like, third-party... It was stuff. a fuck ton of people watching that state of play. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, I also think, like, Jeff has even more than 400,000. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. They, want, they want... Yeah. I don't think... Games. I don't think they need they they can easily announce this. I don't think Jeff has anything crazy like that to be honest. Or if he does have, it's gonna be like Wait, one announcement. They had the, okay, okay, we, we said crazy. A, we like, a, is the Horizon remake crazy? I think that. I mean, you guys one. said it was a big fucking and franchise said, for them. We had the state of play, and then they revealed the Last of Us remake at Summer Game Fest. So I don't think this is anything impossible. Last year Good they point. were they had the showcase, and then they dated Spider Man Two a week later at Jeff's show. So I don't think it's, like, impossible for him to have this stuff. It's something they've done in the past twice now. Yeah, but I don't think they'll have all three. Yeah, that's my thing, where, like, I definitely see one or the other. I think it's the right thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, we could just make it. The Lego game makes sense. I think it's the Lego game. I think, maybe not all three, but I think they have two of them. I think there's two Uh, of them. I just, like, I feel like if you have two of them, you would have saved one for the state of play and then one for this. So, yeah, like, I, I think would... the other ones would be at a showcase in September. I can't take the Twitter timeline if I have to see people watch two Horizon videos, trailers. I, I even like hilarious. Horizon, but, man, we just had, like, two things last year. I'm like, how is Horizon the thing? Like, that gets I, I feel like out? They, think, they think it's a bigger franchise. I don't want to say but that. It is. Like, it's, it's, it's a big it's franchise. What, it's yeah. pretty no, big. No, no, like, I, I think it's that thing where, like, it is very big amongst ge- general audiences. <laughs> you know what it is? Avatar. Where, like, I think yeah. mo- a lot of, like, us in the hardcore community, we don't think about, like, like in the m- movie community, they don't think about Avatar. But, like, it's still, like, the most successful movie franchise ever. Horizon kind of feels like that. We're, like, we're, like, yeah, Horizon's good, but, like, we don't think of it as it's that good. Forbidden uh, West is great. Yeah, no, they're great games. It's just, like, mm-hmm. I don't think we think of it as, like, what Sony, what the actual general audience looks at it as well, where, like, it sells insanely well. 
I mean, any, I, I think one of them is going to be here. Yeah. And anyways, my well, because I think Madoi thinks there's multiple. My second one is just Destiny, just because. Well, she said S I E Studios, and for some reason, the fact she didn't just say PlayStation makes me think it's Bungie. Me? So I'm going to say the Destiny. She just, two. She just well, said that. Like, I know, but which is also like her. I'm but, sure, the final shape will be there. Final, but no, yeah. final shape comes out in like four days. I don't shape it comes out before. Comes out before it. Yeah, they'll do oh, it. Really? They might still give a trailer. The the short trailer. trailer. Final shape is in four days, Fusion. They can still put out a launch trailer. They do that all the time. Yeah, I can see it. I pay the bills type deal. Yeah. I mean, what do you think they're just going to stop marketing it because they release it then? Sure. I, <laughs> I was a little surprised it wasn't there yesterday, but so yeah, I'm just going it, with... They had a showcase for Final Shape literally the day. Well, after. I know. It's like, so. I, yeah. I, I get what you mean. Like, just like a weird, like, eh, might as well just have to pay the bills type deal. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to start picking at Capcom. I'm interested. We talked about this a bit when we talked about Resident Evil. What, what do you guys think about Capcom? What's their, uh, other than Monster Hunter? Do you think they have anything else or is it just Monster Hunter? What was that mm-hmm. one game that Xbox had last year from Capcom? Yeah. Yeah, if yeah. anything, it might be that. If anything. You know, Monster Hunter's here. They confirmed it. I just I said that. No, I mean, yeah. Monster Hunter, though. Yeah. Uh, Path never of the listens! The, <laughs> Path of the Goddess at the Xbox show, and I'm going to snooze through it. I think um, I, I, that game just has, like, they refuse to, like, do, like, pure gameplay, like, someone on the controllers with it. Because I think it actually could be interesting, but I just, I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> I literally don't Capcom get it. Too. They oh, can wait. very well just come out of nowhere yeah. for actual primal update. That nobody's fucking like. I don't know who plays this. So right, hey, Capcom hey, will do shit yourself. like that. Speak for yourself. <laughs> do you um, play? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can I not make a joke around here? God damn. Tough crowd. Electronic. A... Oh, sorry. Uh, ben, well, I was going to move to Ubisoft, actually. Well, how about you let the podcast host? Yeah, I'll let the yeah, podcast host. Uh, electro... I'm slacking. I could. <laughs> Dark kick him. Dark kick him. Yeah. <laughs> Electronic wait, wait. Arts. Wait, wait, sorry, but uh, go ahead, beef, beef. What about Pragmata? Oh, no. no. I, I, I know, no, no, but I just, but I so I just was... saw it, like, while I was looking up Capcom, and I was like, oh my god, please, for the love of god, come back. I think, I think that's never... September showcase. I've never wanted to see a game I know nothing about more in my life. Exactly. <laughs> Where I'm like, what the fuck is this thing? Like, that, was, that was fusion with Concord. Like, we saw nothing of it, but he was chomping at the bit for it. Hey, hey, it worked out worked for out. him, didn't it? Yeah, it worked out. <laughs> worked out for just him, but hell yeah. Let's go, Fusion. That's what I'm saying. EA. Let's talk about EA. I'm very curious what you guys think. Uh, they don't have their own showcase. I'm going to just say it outright. I think Dragon Age is here for certain. Yeah. If there's no plans versus zombies, I don't care. I also yeah. think, I also think so right. college football is here. It's definitely not here. <clears throat> Are you sure? Wait, why would yes. it not be here? Because my, my, my brainstorming is that every Friday going forward until launch, they have some sort I mean, of maybe, but Can you name the last sports game that was at a Jeff show? None of them were, but one. it's not college football, though. It doesn't matter. I can't name a single one. FIFA is the biggest sport in the world of soccer. It's never been at a Jeff show. But I think college football has a different stank to it. Okay, but what it, okay, okay, I was hearing this idea. He presents college football, he catches a football on stage. And he's like, now oh, we're going to talk about college football. He will oh, drop, so, he will it's, drop the ball. It's so dumb. I can actually see it happening. I oh, want it so bad. I see it happening. <laughs> I've been liking to be here. I just don't think so. Like, I've never, I can't think of a single time a sports game so without TGA. So or or it. Well, when you fast. need to fill out the show time, you know, like, that's the perfect game for it. Imagine yeah, he drops I, it. That'd be fucking hilarious. I do think he has, I just think it has a possibility of being here. Because, like I said, I think. We had a trailer last Friday where we had one this Friday. I think every Friday we going going forward we'll have some sort of news content on EA College Football and game Summer Game Fest falls on a Friday. Wait, oh, what about I also those, think that's um... just because it's coming out in a month. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What about when those old Star Wars games that got shown? I forgot the name of it. It was just like we got a CGI trailer for it. I don't I don't believe uh, it was canceled. There was either. like twelve Star Wars games. No, it was like the last one that got shown off. It was oh, a CGI wait, trailer. Come on. Oh, um, I'm trying to remember. Who, was that shown off like uh, here? I, I think that was. That, it was at the Game Awards. Eclipse. No, that's like the, that's yeah. 2020 oh, Eclipse. Yeah, we might like see 20, that. No, that's that was like leaked to be like 2027. Can I can I say actually something crazy about that game? Eclipse. I think it gets canceled. Uh-huh. 
I was thinking, I was like thinking to myself, is it canceled? But if it's not, we might see it here. I just feel like we've only heard bad things about it after like it got shown off. Like it got shown off, and then just oh, the, the developers are having a rough time. The game's barely coming together. It's a, it's like oh, okay, well <laughs> that tells me we're not saying that bad boy for a while. Um, how about we move on to, and I'm thinking about it, I'm the person who brought it up first, Ubisoft. Yeah. It's going be Assassin's Creed. I think it's just going to be like a one minute or two minute trailer of footage from both of their two big games this year, and it'll say at the end, tune in on to our showcase coming soon. Yeah, that's so lame, too. <laughs> like, it's like, think... a, it's like, man, I wish that SGF was able to just get the full thing so I could just watch it all at once. I think that's just what Ubisoft's going to do. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I think that's the probably the most likely scenario. I you don't think there's like anything brand new or some weird no because game? I have a prediction bigger for Ubisoft later that I I don't think they do anything new here. Their like, biggest thing they'll do here is they're going to do those cringy multiplayer trailers where they put a bunch of streamers playing X Defiant. Like you know those like what, yes. two and a half minute like trailers where everyone's playing Exify and there's flashy logos and they're like this game's out now like that that's what they're gonna do here at the show. Dude, I want that so badly. I miss those trailers so much. We used that's to get them all do. the time. Man. The Power World devs are here. Good well, that was that reaction. <laughs> I mean, no, like, I Power really the, lost. Uh, I need no slug tactics team. to appear again. Yeah, SMK is here, so that's possible. That's so I, wait, where did I go? It was shown off. The a, it's show, it was shown off at Summer Game Fest. Jeff hyped it up, and then it disappeared. All the last thing we heard from them was like, "Yeah, we delayed it to 2024." Oh my god, God bless. Hey, real quick on Electronic Arts, I forgot to ask about this. Do we see Battlefield? If anything, Ooh. it's just an announcement of a name. I hope oh, we I see can... Battlefield. I think we get that, yeah. Like just like a announcement. It's just gonna be a name, or like just gonna be like the next Battlefield in development, or something like that. Exactly. I mean, it, I mean, I didn't really get this. Do you guys all agree that Dragon Age is like gonna be here 100? percent Oh, 100, and a release, yeah, like date, like 100. percent Like it'd be weird if it wasn't. <laughs> like that's all. Is it gonna be good though? I don't know. Is this I mean, listen, good... that's that's when we see the game. That's when we debate <laughs> yeah. that. But like right now, I, we don't. I just, shit. Yeah, I hope it's a good jumping on point. I don't know, man. If they Just did Dragon Age Legendary Legendary Collection, if they did a Legendary Collection, then we could play them. But they fucking refuse. I don't know if they would do this. Dragon Age is just a weird fucking franchise, man. I hate them. I hate EA. Play Origin. Uh, Origin is just a shit. But yeah. Riot Games. Okay, actually, I don't know. They don't got shit. Riot Games. Yeah, yeah, they 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 Riot Games. Be, no, I was they'll, be their, they'll be their fighting game. They'll reveal some character for it. <laughs> okay, if you want to talk about Riot Games being there. There, this happened a while ago, but there was a leak in the game files that they were porting Valorant the consoles. Yeah, but that they've, might said have that, they've said that since 2020. Yeah, but like this has been in the files for recently. So, and that game will play like Garbanzo being on a controller. <laughs> I can tell you that with a straight face. But I, I never like played it. I don't know, games. but if anything, there might be. It's right, taking so this what's... long because it has to be an entire new video game just called Valorant on the console. Oh, it's gonna be like that. Um, what was it? The the CS:GO. Part yes, like on Xbox genuinely. That's how that's how bad it would. That's oh, how that's, crazy that's they would have to get with it to make it on the console work. I mean, they might do it, but it's going to be a totally different game than that PC version. I don't know if you've ever played the CS:GO port on three. I have on the three sixty. It's one of the worst <laughs> things ever created. <laughs> um, I want to move into Sega. We already know about Metaphor. That's going to show up here. Any Sega other big announcements? Shadow. Sonic and Shadow. Shadow. Game. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Sonic and Shadow. I'm curious uh, if one of the super games or like what? one of that projects, like Golden Axe or something. Um, I think Mandari was saying want... Jet Set Radio. I want Shinobi. That Shinobi game looked sick. And I really that, that we ain't hearing shit about that. <laughs> we already been dead silent on that one. I mean, no, I could didn't... see... Then went dead silent on all of them. <laughs> no, she mentioned the yeah. Jet Set Radio a lot, and that's probably gonna be what's well, the thing that I'm, maybe crazy tactic. The thing I'm curious about is because we have Metaphor that we know is gonna be here, and we also know Persona Three Expansion Pass is coming, but both of those are also gonna be at the Xbox show. Are assumedly, both, yeah. what's the assumedly there? Is yeah, that, I, 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 why wouldn't they? They were both revealed there. Yeah, Xbox. Yeah, if, like, anything new for Sega is gonna be shown to be at Xbox. 
about PlayStation, man? Why can't PlayStation have Sega stuff anymore? God bless. <laughs> we used to get all your stuff exclusively. What happened to us? <laughs> they realize other people buy games too. I don't care about those other people. If I'm being real, they can eat shit. We're in a better timeline now. <clears throat> We're in the worst timeline. I think um, Poyoverse pulls up and shows Genshin 5.0, their new story arc. 5.0. Um, oh, you guys said damn. Oh, he was hyping this yeah. up before we started the podcast. Well, I think he it's just... So he's cutting Poyo- again. Poyoverse like, loves Jeff events, and I don't know for sure, but I'd assume they're like, their Fontaine update got revealed last year, because they come out every August. So I, th- I think it's just a safe assumption. Why the f- Poyo versus logo. What is even is their logo? I don't think. Oh, that there it is. What that is a weird ass logo. <laughs> I was looking I mean, at the like thing look and... at the most grainy, weird colored image it's on the back of though. Yeah, that's a. I don't know. This was the best image I could find online. So like, don't blame me. Uh, Bandai Namco. I think we see Sparking Zero. That's like, I think it's I dated. Think it's almost a guarantee. Yeah, for sure, dated. Like, it, like you would hope it gets dated. dated. October. <laughs> oh yeah, October makes sense for a game like that. What what else? Uh, Tekken Eight. You think we get some DLC stuff for them? Maybe. Does Elden Ring show up? Oh man, I we're like we two trailer? weeks. That's the thing. We're two weeks away from it. That might just Maybe. be a re- like a replay of the same trailer we just got recently. Yeah, I could see yeah. a launch trailer. Maybe like a quick, like one minute, like maybe an ad break. They show off uh, just a quick uh, trailer for it. Though I feel like Elden Ring being an ad break sounds like weird. <laughs> Whereas, I think like, I feel like a... Jeff would hype up the trailer. I think. I mean, he had the. I the last time, the first time we saw it after the break was Summer Game Fest. I could see us getting a launch trailer for the DLC. So, yeah, just a, a quick launch trailer for the DLC. I, I, I mean, if you wanna. We haven't really gotten a DLC trailer at an event ever, so if you want to let the wider audience know that Elden Ring DLC exists and it's out in less than a month, here would be like where to put it. They the already know. I feel like the wider audience knows. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, I mean, like in like the marketing scheme, though, they their plans. I think this would be smart to put it out there. Everyone yeah. that's gonna get the Elden Ring DLC knows about it. Fusion didn't know. He didn't even know Elden Ring was out. He doesn't care about. I don't think he knew. He was like, I was going to be like, what's an Elden Ring? <laughs> what's an Elden Ring? <laughs> it's a Cheerio. Private Division? I just wanted to quickly pick at this. Um, this is weird because we actually got a story about it, how Private Division is gone. <laughs> or like, a, most likely going to be shut down by uh, Take-Two. Because they don't know how to run a company over there. I, I don't know what... It's funny seeing their logo here. I hope they don't get shut down. That's kind of my hope. I don't know what what have they published? Did they have any uh, big things announced? They have or... the Game Freak game that's twenty twenty six. Oh my apparently. god! What? <laughs> I forgot about that. That's not here, right? There's no way. No, it's not here. Uh, any other straws you guys want to pick at, or are we ready to get into the more wider stuff? Uh, prediction wise for SGF. That's the hardest part. Is like it could be such a wide net of things. Like the only other thing I know is the remember that game Choo Choo Charles. Oh yeah, he said their next game yeah, is gonna be yeah, there. He said his yeah. next game's gonna be there. That's like the only other thing I know. And that's the thing is with Summer Game Fest, it could be literally any developer, so it's kind of hard to predict and talk about them. I think I think Square shows up. If they pull up with it's, they're literally the, not on the partners list. <laughs> okay, but they could be there it's round one, read the top of the list. Round one? What do you mean? <laughs> Look, it says twenty twenty four partners. Round one. Maybe they yeah, don't want to be on the list. He'll probably post them on the list, but I don't know. If I mean, I could see Square there. showing up and with uh, FF Tactics or FF Nine getting announced. You said that that was going to be at the PlayStation Showcase. He and it's, it's going to be. <laughs> it's, he it's wants a new Final Fantasy. Announced, it's getting announced it's... sometime this year. And Dawn Trail will probably have some sort of ad because it's out in like a month. You, you got to understand. Final Fantasy fans have been starving. It's been three months since the last Final Fantasy thing. <laughs> Listen, I, <laughs> you're I'm dying gonna, over here. They're going to show a rebirth part three trailer. Uh, I think. Mean. It's okay, Bench. It's okay. I, I, I want. I want. Um. I actually want that tactics remaster. I'm interested. I want it too. I hear it's good. Real quick, I actually almost forgot. WB. Do you think they have the fucking balls to show a Suicide Squad character trailer? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. That'd be hilarious. Just you know everyone's gonna be so angry. <laughs> I don't think anyone would be angry. I think people would be like, "Why the fuck are you even here?" I don't think anyone's gonna care. 
It looks so the be... next character. It's the gall of it. That's my thing. <laughs> Wait, uh, does Will and Bone show up? Does no, that get like no. DLC? Do Jeff would even like allow that after the reception. It's like it. they come over. They come over to Jeff like, hey, money. Hey, money. Hey, money. Hey, money. Well, no, yeah, yeah, I think. Hey, money. Well, I think Jeff's at a point, especially this year, where he he is more picky choosy now. He doesn't want mm-hmm. to talk about so. I think if you pay money, he'd be like, right, come on. Well, can you, okay, Bench, name five games that was at the last game awards. Judas, Monster One, Hunter Wilds, two, Metaphor, three, Persona 3, four, and oh. um, Rebirth. Wait, wait, Persona 3? That just got. I was no, no, say, no, I'm looking at this up. Well, all of them were there. Can you name a smaller game that was there? Other than like your AAA? <laughs> um. I don't care about Indies. <laughs> They're dead to me. He said, fuck them Indies. He said, I don't care about Indies because it, it doesn't go with my point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to get into the more broader questions about SGF. What opens the show? I think uh, Dragon it's Age. Dragon Age. Yeah, I'm going to say Dragon Age. I don't know, man. That's a hard what? question. I think it's... It, I think... You need something that, like, immediately sets the tone of, like, oh, shit, like, something big is, like, this is going to be a good show. And, like, Dragon Age is probably the biggest franchise that we can assume he has. I think he gets the da- the lead on there up there as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think, I honestly, I think what's the more interesting question is what closes the show. I, th- so, I, I mean, think if... it will reveal with a, like, the first thing shown will be a new reveal that we don't know of. I can see that. What do you think, Jim? Okay. Like developer wise, <laughs> I'm gonna say I have no. I genuinely don't know. I just think it's going to be something we haven't heard of that hasn't been rumored. Like it's just going to come out of nowhere. It's just going to be some random thing. Will be good. I don't know, but I think it's going to be a new reveal of something. Do they close with Dragon Age then? No, I don't think. I don't no, know. I don't, just the, the midway. Dragon Age is there somewhere. <laughs> I mean, last year they closed with Rebirth. Didn't they? I mean, maybe they, there's another trailer for Mass Effect. Look up Summer Game Fest 2023 and see what they opened with. That's kind of the problem with SGF that I'm like, we were talking about this before the podcast. It is so hard to predict because literally anything could be there. And like, yeah, I, I think we always get kind of disappointed at the end where it's like, oh yeah, I guess most of what we predicted just <laughs> didn't exist. <laughs> when you when you got that Elden Ring trailer in 2021, though. Yeah, no, and that was awesome. But like, yeah, I can't, I can't tell you anything else that got revealed in 2021. <laughs> and that's kind of my thing with these events. I come in like if I get, if I leave with like one or two things I'm really excited about, I'm fine. I don't really care. So, for example, last year he opened up with Prince of Persia: The Lost Crown, which was brand new, not rumored, just came out of nowhere. That was his reveal. That was his opener last year. Okay, yeah. wait, I, I got some confusion. Is this where we see Silk Song? Oh, I forgot. No. Silk Song, I'll be real. It, I, if if Silk Song is not undergoing a... development hell, or if they're not swapping engines or whatever the fuck's going on, if it, the game exists and it's coming out soon, will it be here? That's the Xbox show. Like, I, I just think like you have I the game. I think everybody's them. I have an Xbox or Nintendo could have it to be honest. Yeah, that's the thing. They've been like it's here, Xbox. It could be bringing themselves out. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm. I just hope it's one of the shows. I don't care where it should show up. PC Gamer mm-hmm. Show. I can't show anywhere. Just show if it ain't shown <laughs> this summer, they're swapping engines or something. <laughs> that game is fun. And then ju- I, just I to tell you real quick, 2021 was also Tiny Tina Wonderland's reveal. So oh, it seems like he likes to start with a brand new reveal, but we'll see. I think I was so scarred after Tiny Tina. I was just, I forgot everything else. <laughs> That the uh, metal slug tactics with the next game. Then. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what? Respect to Jeff. All right, I'm gonna hit a. Let's just go crazy. What's our pie in this guy? What's our like? You know, mm. it's probably not gonna happen, but like, you're like, oh, you know, I want it. <laughs> Give it to me, uh, Jeff. It would be Rebirth Part Three, getting like a 60 second trailer with like five seconds of gameplay and just the I get it. I get it. I get it, Bench. It's been three months since we've been drowning. You said so I, I, Listen, Rebirth took three years to make. I don't think it's impossible. I just want we you just to be excited for something game. that's not Final Fantasy. I know. Fantasy. I'd jump off a like, bridge if I saw it. <laughs> I swear to God, it's, it's been three months, man. And you're like, yeah, but it's not let, impossible. Let's get it. <laughs> it's impossible, bro. Give like a pie in the sky that's at least plausible. Oh wait 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 wait! Um, actually, I just fucking remembered the Wonder Woman game. 
Oh, oh yeah. Wow. I could actually see that here. Is that Avalanche? I forget. Isn't that like no, a it's, it's, um, it's, it's the people it's that does the of uh, okay. oh, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah Malus. That could actually I, I think that's actually extreme. Isn't that like um multiplayer? Oh, uh, I was just looking at my list. You know what's very likely? Wolf Among Us 2. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be so hyped. Please. That is possible. We're just, yo, hang on. <laughs> you guys just started bringing up. You know the problem. Bringing up games they might be cooking. These games literally got like one CG trailer, so we just forget about them. So yeah, like years really, ago, one of them kind of like came to my mind from the deepest corners. Like I fucking forgot about <laughs> this. You can see the trailer in the corner of your eye. Yeah. You're like, wait, the reveal logo. I never forget that trailer watching it, and then Jeff was like, "That's right, guys," and I was like, "What did I get out of that, Jeff? What do you want from me?" <laughs> like, don't get excited. <laughs> That's so funny. I do think it's going to be here, though. Then now that you bring it up, it's like, this seems like around the time when it would get revealed. WB is a partner, you know, and I want to believe WB is a partner for something other than Suicide Squad. That's really I don't know true. if you guys have ever played the Shadow Mortar games. I got to play them recently. Those are fantastic games. I have so much faith in that developer. It's on the list. I really uh, yeah, the Nemesis system is incredible. Monolith Productions. And, and I'm like, like, I'm not even big into Lord of the Rings. I don't know much about it. So I was able to jumped into that's like my first experience of it really that shit is fucking awesome hey guys remember everwild then i can <laughs> hey well I'll, i might mention that later so you shut the hell up <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll the chamber. oh uh the dragon quest update i wonder if that'll uh, be that's anywhere that's nintendo that's not nintendo. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, uh, you have a nintendo yeah yeah uh, let, let, uh, i'm what, what, I, uh, do, wow i cannot speak beef what, what's your i was gonna say let, you, you're, you're talking <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't mention it. Maybe because we're all like uh, tired of him, but I feel like, and it fits with Sony. I maybe Death Stranding Two might show up. I you really don't. Of, whoa, we're I tired really, of him. I'm not tired of him. <laughs> I really don't. Him. I don't know if they will because like, I, but I mean, like, it seems maybe a bit too early. we just got the I same know. a couple months ago. I, I would be into it, but that seems was, like a Game Awards. We get the next update on it. Yeah, because like I we think, just had a yeah. six minute trailer six months ago. No, it was like a twenty. It, it was a ten minute trailer. <laughs> it was like was ten it? minutes three months ago. <laughs> I, I'm just imagining between like uh, SGF and the uh, Game Awards, just switching between OD and Death Stranding for years, and I'm just gonna be like forever. When are we gonna? Yeah, ex- <laughs> exactly. It's like <laughs> just for we're never leaving this. It's a hell. <laughs> we just get cryptic trailers that barely tell us anything. <laughs> God, oh, we might bless get them. Didn't you mention them? We might get Metal Gear Solid Three. Oh yeah. I no, don't think uh, he... no. Konami hates Keely. Oh yeah. There's no way yeah, Konami's yeah. gonna be at. Uh... Konami I, and Keely hate each other. I have that maybe That's for it. Xbox, but yeah, not here. Yeah, Xbox makes more sense for Metal Gear Solid. Uh, yeah. and like any other Konami games, just like no chance in hell would be at a Keely show. They. Like that's the one company Keely said by name sucks. <laughs> like, that's insane. That was He's a crazy. Wrong, but you know, <laughs> hey, he was spinning. He was cooking. <laughs> um, I mean, LKV. Oh my god! Didn't that game get delayed to 2027 for like something, something crazy? crazy? That game, I'd love to see it again. I want to ask Fever Dream. I want to ask this: How many 2024 games compared to 2025? Like, are we going to see uh, more than enough 2024 games to satiate us, or is it just going to be like 2025 or no date? A lot of shit like that. A lot of no date. Because uh, the thing is, like, I think Dragon Age is this year. The 2K game could be this year. I think a Horizon project could be this year. So I think a lot of the big hitters might be this year or very early 2025. Yeah, but then you get into the like weird partnerships. It's like this game has like people who worked from Riot, and they show like a ten second teaser that looks like every other multiplayer game, and they're like, "Yep, we're making it," <laughs> and then nothing else, <laughs> and then we completely forget about it. The amount of games that has had that in a Keeley show is indescribable. Um, it, real quick, I I forgot to mention this earlier. Easy prediction: Concord and Astro are gonna get shown off here in some light. What do you guys think? Like they're shown off, like. Same trailer again. That'd be so. No, I don't think. I think it's like I think a different prediction is that Concord and Astro are playable at the Days of Play event, and we get media previews for them. I'd say that. It's just it's interesting. I think I think media getting their hands on Concord would be a good thing. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I think we're in now. We're kind of nearing the end of the predictions. You guys oh, have any more that you want to throw up? Uh, I think the we, we talked about Fatal SMK. Furies. Oh, we did. 
Oh yeah, did you have the Fatal Fury? You didn't mention yeah. that. So. Yeah, I mean the City of the Wolves will be here. Oh yeah, I mean that's an easy one, I think. Any other? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, can't imagine any I mean the other fighting, games, fighting games doing the rounds. I could see a street. Uh, we just had Akuma, but I, I mean you could just because a lot They're of gonna announce like, the second season plus. Yeah, that I mean, good is. Like, something else. Yeah, I don't know. Give like the art like they did. I could see that. Because the thing of Capcom and Street Fighter, I just remember because Akuma was meant to be the last character. Um, they have like four to five season passes. They'd be like, check out the new season pass. Yeah. So I, can I, see just want, I just want to action this. I don't care. I don't care. Just give me, more, <laughs> give me action this. Dude, okay. like, it's kind of fusion. It's kind of insane that none of these people are hyped for X, just like we are. We only Dude, see one trailer. What is but, this? Let's wait. We saw- well, no, we're getting <laughs> all the text info, though. Like, come on, they're cooking. Okay, you, get, you guys, you guys saw. It's just like Mass Effect. <laughs> like what? Made, that, made that a lot should... of the same people who made Mass Effect. So, all right. Well, I mean, I hope it's good, but I don't think it's here. Like, it's like we just got at Game Awards. So the next time we see it, it'll probably be the next Game Awards or maybe a later event than that. But yeah, yeah. I think that any others, or are we good to close it out for the SGF predictions. I hope to see Baby Steps. That's what I'm looking forward to the oh most. Oh my god, the benefit what? game. I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. But I'm into it's it. Kind of... Yeah, I'm interested. Uh, should be a fun show. What's our hype levels at? 1 to 10. 6. 8. 7.5. 7.5 probably for me as well. Yeah, I'll go with the 6. There's just not too much else listed. See, for I the say 6. Hype rating? Oh, rating, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rating, yeah. I swear to God, if he says ten, <laughs> I said eight. I say eight. six because normally, if it was just games, it would probably be higher. But I know he's gonna have some fucking celebrities, oh, yeah. and nobody's gonna care about. It. It'd be so dumb. It, I don't know. Oh, I Jack, Black, Black, Jack Black has so a pass. Jack Black Jack, has the gamer pass. Yeah, if if it's Jack Black or Keanu for the Sonic movie, which. Wait, oh I mean, yeah, we didn't talk about that. That's hundred percent getting a trailer. <laughs> yeah, if that gets a trailer, like, a he, trailer. he might be onto something. But <laughs> if it's not yeah. those guys, not as cooked. Yeah, that's our SGF predictions. Should be a fun show. Uh, and if you want to close out the episode. All right, let's close out these predictions. So that was the Summer Game Fest one here on June 4th. So tune in tomorrow, June 5th, Wednesday for Xbox. Xbox. Yes, Xbox uh, showcase predictions. Hopefully you already listened to the Nintendo uh, predictions that we did yesterday. But be sure to keep on watching, keep on listening to these videos. This is going to be a new experiment for us, and I think it's going to go pretty well. But let us know your predictions for Summer Game Fest down in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more of more Slice of Gaming. Say goodnight, everyone. Good night. Good night. Or good morning. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, whenever you listen to this.